so the big three seems to be departing then thankfully and we're going to have plenty of festive racing action to enjoy and none more so from an anti-post perspective than the coral welsh grand national at chepstow on december the 27th and the horse that very much took my eye when i looked through this a couple of days ago was the big dog for peter fye a horse who won the punchestown grand national trial two seasons ago last season never quite worked out for him for one reason or another including in the welsh grand national where he was going well before a mistake ended up with the reins over his head and he had to be pulled up but this season he's been a different entity he's had two starts two wins for a horse that was always going to get better as the season drags on that's pretty notable both of those wins were in big races over in ireland the munster grand national uh, and the troy town two races that take a lot of winning there over three miles and he was just getting going in the closing stages so the three and three quarter miles at chepstow given he's absolutely 100 percent race fit in form battle hardened 10 to 1 was available a couple of days ago. He was 16 to 1 before that. 8 to 1 is the best price currently, which I still think is fair. I, I have him priced up as closer to joint favourite with Venetia Williams' quick wave than the 8 to 1 suggests. So I would recommend taking that 8 to 1 now if you can, because I'm sure he's got to be a bit shorter on the day. I'd have him shorter. I think he's got a great chance. His stamina seems absolutely uh, endless. Got a good prominent run style for Chepstow as well. There was almost a tick in every box, really, for the big dog. For the Coral Welsh Grand National, 8-1 to 1 on December the 27th.